In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how Young Henry runs the absolute best bunch offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to the channel before, what I do on YouTube is very simple. I try to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. So if you are looking for tips and tricks and ways that you can get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, before we jump into the video, I do want to let you know that I do have a text message membership. You'll notice that my phone number will actually pop up in the left-hand corner of the screen, and that is my personal cell phone number. So if you want to get a full scheme on the entirety of the gun bunch, I have a uh, over an hour scheme that breaks down everything that you can do from the gun bunch. It's actually based out of the Carolina playbook, which is not what Henry runs, but it's very similar in, con in concept and does a really, really good job. So if you want to pick that up, that link is in the description. Or not in the description. Well, I guess it is in the description, but it's also in the, in the left side the corner there. Just text me and I'll shoot you a link to the video. Okay. So... Let's talk about young Henry, and let's talk about his offense. This guy is a beast, and I felt like one of the plays that I really wanted to highlight that he uses that not a whole lot of people you were, were using at this time were two in particular plays. The first thing we're going to talk about is his gun bunch tight end, just for a brief second here, and all we're really going to hit on are two plays. The first one is the play PA boot over. And the second one is the play inside switch. The, those were two plays that he, I felt like he ran at a really high level. But on the bunch side of things, we're going to show you the bench pivot, which I felt like was one of the better plays that he ran as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to jump in here. And again, if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, so first and foremost, this play bench pivot. And one of the... I think this is one of the best plays in the entire game. And you see Henry run this over and over and over again. But basically all he does is he simply takes Godwin, put him on a streak, and then he's going to block and release throughout his, full, his running back, which I felt like was really, really sharp and really, really smart. And essentially what you're going to notice here is against man-to-man -man coverage, as long as your tight end has over 90 deep route running, which Gronkowski does not have that in regs, but... A lot of you will be able to find a tight end in Mutt that will have that 90 deep route running threshold or 90 medium route running threshold that is really going to help. But as you see right there, right on the cut, that route will beat man coverage. It beats it even better if you have a better receiver there. But that route will beat man-to-man -man coverage. The next thing I want to show you is this route to Brown. As you see right here, right on the cut, once again, as long as that route is not pressed, that route will beat man-to-man -man coverage. So, uh, and again, as long as you have a good route runner there. That's why Antonio Brown being there uh, really does help this play. And again, it's a super, super simple play, but I think it's super, super effective. You see this route right here to Brown all day long. And if you have a good route running receiver, you'll be able to throw that more consistently. However, if you don't have a good route running receiver, one of the things that I like to recommend to people is using this as a cover three beater. So if they're running cover three on the right side, which most people that play bunch know by now they probably shouldn't do that. But as you'll see right here, if they do run that, you're going to typically be able to hit the slot receiver right up the seam. You're going to be able to hit him literally directly up the seam against a cover three. In particularly a cover three where the safety on the cover, on the bunch side is coming down. As you see at the snap, he comes down. So again, if I have a pass lead elite, I can pass lead that to the right and get that ball over the defense for an absolute laser of a play. Okay. Now another thing that you'll notice is that Henry is not a type of player that is going to make a lot of mental mistakes. You'll notice he actually, one of the things that I feel like is really, really sharp about the way that he played this game was he just didn't make very many minimal mistakes, right? And he did have some different route abilities on his players and, and all of that. But one of the things that I noticed that what you would see is that when he was in a situation where he was going to want to kind of make sure he didn't make a mistake i felt like he went audible over to this gun bunch tight end and there was in particular two plays in particular that he would use 
The first one was inside switch, and essentially the setup here is relatively simple, really. Um, he would smart route his tight end. You see that's going to get him on that sharp corner route that beats man to -man coverage. So if they're running man to -man coverage on this tight end, and again, it's not going to show up as well because of Gronkowski's route running, but if Gronkowski had better route running, that would absolutely torch man-to-man -man coverage, right? Uh, because he's going up against Jair Alexander, who has really good coverage, and Gronk doesn't have great route running, it's just not going to work out as well. But just know, this is a very, very good uh, little route combination. Now, the beauty of this is this actually does a really good job of opening some specific things up against the gun bunch um, that might not be open prior uh, and it's basically this right here it's essentially taking this slot receiver god when putting him on a slant route motioning him to the right here and then just creating this little com combination right here and this combination is just different man beaters is really all that is is it really all that it is it's different man beaters different ways to beat man in zone from the same play so this inside switch is really just a yard gainer I actually have a full gun bunch uh, tight end scheme which has actually been gaining in popularity lately a lot of people are releasing ebooks on it we actually have that scheme posted I think we ran that or posted that a little bit over a month ago now kind of talking through it once we saw that this was going to be a really really good formation and it actually is a great formation this year so the next play that I want to go over from Young Henry is the PA boot over. But before I do that, I just want to highlight one more time. If you do want to get that um, Gun Bunch ebook, go ahead and shoot me a text message. You get it for free. And literally the text membership, we have multiple other defenses and offenses as well. We cover the Big Nickel over G, the Nickel 335 wide, the Arizona um, uh, cluster, the split close, the U trips, all kinds of really, really good and really, really powerful um, really, really good and really, really powerful uh, uh, plays and route combinations. So, anyway, that being said, the next one is kind of the old oldie but goodie uh, is is really what it is, and that is this bunch tight end PA boot over play, and this is a play that Henry actually scored a touchdown on, um, and what he did was. They were in a man-to-man -man situation. He actually had a little bit of a faster and a better route running guy out here. But you'll notice that this route to Mike Evans, if he has over 90 deep route running, he will get separation. If he doesn't have over 90 deep route running, he won't get as much separation, especially on that side. So when you motion over, but just know that if you have a guy, you can do that. Anyway, that being said, the next thing I want to show you here is just, I mean, this is America's offense, right? I mean, this is one of the best plays in the entire game. And literally all we're going to do is we're just going to read this play right to left and we're going to roll out. And what you'll notice here is as we roll out, the people that are in man coverage will basically blitz us as we roll out. doesn't matter if they are manned up on the player or not. It's basically a kind of a glitch. Um, in my opinion, but essentially, you know, you've got that tight end kind of blocking. So again, you just get out of the pocket, they're going to chase you, and then you can throw it back across your body. And a lot of quarterbacks can throw on the run this year at a relatively high level. So you're going to be able to complete this really consistently. But essentially what you're going to do really is you're just going to simply read high low what route comes open right what route comes open high low a lot of these routes will do a really really good job you see the drag route to antonio brown one of the things that is really cool about this play is that the drag route and we're going to get into this play a little bit deeper in a later video but this drag route is really really good also you have this crossing route that's really really good you see that crossing route is a nice deep crossing route that gets over the top of a lot of zone coverages and then to cap it all off, you have a nice skinny post. Now, what I actually like to do is I actually like to motion the skinny post out to the left side just to kind of help with the spacing of the play to let the other two routes kind of develop and then leave that little gap right in behind them with that skinny post route. But you don't have to do that. Uh, a lot of people that run this don't do that. Henry doesn't do that. That's just kind of a Cody thing. But again, you want to make sure that you are smart routing the route, in my opinion. Um, but as you can see right here, if you want to hit that, you can hit that as well. So that is the way that Henry would run these uh, gun bunch offenses and gun bunch offset, or not bunch offset, but bunch tight end. Um, one last thing I did want to cover is this clear out play. And I actually ran this a lot 
Um, and he actually ran this a lot just as is, like straight up as is, just running it. And he actually scored touchdown after touchdown um, on this play. But it was what I believe to tell you uh, here today is that you were seeing a lot of this. Um, one of the other things is when they when they would deep half people or when they would basically kind of try to adjust things, you would see that these little clear out routes were always the route that gave gave you trouble depending on the coverage you ran. Now again, I'm not saying that it's gonna, not, there's not a coverage in the world that can stop, but I'm just saying whenever people start to get, start to try to get really really adjusty on you, this is a really really good play to be able to quick snap, to be able to go to, um, you're gonna find that it does do a really, really good job. You'll see that these little um, inside pass laid or outside pass laid little seam streaks will do a good job depending on what they do, right? I can't you know, say that you know, you're always gonna have those streaks but it is important to look to them because they might get open at the critical time as they did for Henry in his game plan. So. That is the way he runs uh, some of his principles out of Gun Bunch. Now, if you want to get the way that I run the Gun Bunch, that is in our text membership. I also wanted to remind you, I do have an ebook right now out on the best offense in Madden 21, which I believe to be the New England Patriots offensive playbook. It is the best offense in the game, and the reason why is because you can do everything that you can do from this video right here, and you can also do more because they have some other stuff as well. So if you would like to pick up the ebook, that link's in the description. If you'd like to just simply get a sample uh, play from the ebook or a sample formation from the ebook, you can text me. My number is 812 216 Three six four four. That is my personal cell phone number. You can text me anytime. Any questions you have about Madden, or if you just want to get the free, uh, free schemes and stuff, just shoot me a text and we'll hook you up. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll be streaming tonight at ten o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and we also have some polls going on, kind of seeing what you guys think about the games. So be sure to check our community tab for different updates throughout the day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video coming here in a little bit.